line right here represents the turbo coded data. So it turns out that the difference, the coding gain between these two uh, curves that are drawn is uh, not of uh, that great a value. It's just that the performance is round about uh, similar. But uh, if you take a closer look at it, for one particular value of EB by N0 ratio, uh, EB by N0 ratio uh, the bit error rate for the LDPC code is slightly more than that of the turbo code. So for this scenario where the data size is 100 bits, um, the turbo code performs a little bit better than the LDPC code. Um, again, I would like to mention the fact that in one of my discussions with Dr. Wu, um, I got to know that for data values of size less than 800 bits, uh, the turbo codes would perform better than the LDPC codes. Um, and for data size more than 8000 bits, the LDPC codes would perform better than the turbo codes. Uh, and for the data sizes in between 800 bits and 8000 bits, it's kind of hard to predict which code would perform better. So it depends on the kind of scenario that uh, is there, depends on kind of modulation, the kind of channel that is being used, uh, and the size of the data bits, and you know various different parameters uh, which come into play. So this is a final conclusion table. So here we have given the comparison between uh, the different coding techniques that we compared. So this is the gain that we get uh, for different coding techniques. So finally we conclude that you know after seeing the results, it's it's probably you know more than evident that LDPC codes are ubiquitous. Basically, you know these are used in uh, most of the wireless communication systems uh, in the in the present day. Um, but in the conclusion, there is one important point which we would like to emphasize, and that point is, you know, we emphasize on the fact that the results which are shown in this, in this paper, they don't exactly uh, tell which coding technique is better or which is not, but they will just give you a brief idea. They'll give you a good estimate, uh, a very close estimate of the kind of performance that can be achieved. Um, I say that because, you know, these results are for specific test cases. And again, some coding techniques could perform well in a particular case, the other could perform better in the other scenario. So, depending on the frame length, the number of iterations, the error channel, the type of modulation, the redundancy addition, the coding, the coding scheme used, you know, we could trade off for performance and uh, other factors. So, again, um, I would say that it is imprudent to conclude that which coding technique is the best because uh, you know it depends on the kind of situation that we are doing the coding in. Um, so before ending up my talk, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Doc Dapping Wu for all the useful learnings which I got in the class during his lectures, and again uh, for all the one-on-one -on -one discussions that he had with me whenever I had any doubts and issues. So here is a quick gone chart on the kind of resources and the amount of time that I spent on the project. So I spent half a week on project planning, some uh, four, uh, some two weeks on literature review, followed by MATLAB coding. And parallelly, I was writing the report as well. Um, we did a lot of data interpretation, data collection, analysis, and then finally, uh, you know, this week was mostly spent at uh, doing the review and recording the video. Now here is the uh, distribution of hours that went into each and every phase of the project. So project planning took around about 5 hours. The most part of the project was uh, MATLAB coding which took around 35 hours because we coded a lot of different uh, um, modulation techniques, uh, a lot of different error control techniques and then we coded for uh, a communication channel and you know we had written a lot of different codes. Uh, here are some quick references. Uh, okay, so if you have any questions or queries or concerns related to the project or related to the talk or the demo, uh, you can feel free to email me at vchuk.90 at gmail.com. I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And thank you very much for your kind attention.